Hi Endless Sphere members, just wanted to shoot this video, finally I have some time. Uh, in this video I wanted to show you a couple of things. Some, uh, to, I wanted to answer uh, some of your questions which you have about the device, about the battery. So <clears throat> here you can see uh, my old bicycle uh, and the device which is already mounted. Uh, so what you see here is my uh, latest and greatest prototype. That's why you see those uh, LED lights. Uh, production units, of course, they don't they don't have it. Uh, and so what you see here is bike on mounted on the bicycle. It has three contact points with the bicycle. One is underneath the chain stay tube. We have it here. Second one is the sprocket holder. Those two holders, um, they 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 hold the sprocket, they sit on the sprocket. And the third one is this wedge, which is one time installation. And it's just a contact point in between the, the frame of the, of the device and the seat stay tube. Uh, so <clears throat> the wedge adds, uh, gives additional stability. It balances the forces which act on, on the device itself. So overall, it's very stable system. Next up, I wanted to show you, um, um, there were some questions about backpedaling. I can show you how it works here. I just turned it on. I cycle the sensor once and you can see it's pretty natural motion. If I stop it, it stops immediately too. Um, if I rotate it quickly, it rotates too. Um, Overall, uh, we constantly improve the firmware, the logic of the device, many, many other things. We constantly push new, new updates. That's why uh, we have the over-the-air update capability in the device. So just recently we pushed uh, an update to some, uh, some of our first users, our first customers. So if you purchase the device, we push the update, it, it's just getting better and better as, as, as we move on with development. That's one thing. Um, I think uh, another thing I wanted to mention, most of the parts of the device are made of metal. Here you can see the, uh, the rotor, it's made of uh, aviation grade aluminum. It's not a cheap aluminum which you have, it's a high quality aluminum. Everything is made of um, mostly high quality aluminum, some stainless steel. Um, the rollers which hold the rotor are, are made of um, metal as well with some addition of special plastics and special types of polyurethane. Um, the development was done with, uh, 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 along with professional materials engineer here. We, we invested a lot into the material research. Uh, so it's not the cheap stuff which you can buy from, from China probably. Uh, that's one thing I wanted to mention. Another thing I wanted to mention is the, the battery. <clears throat> I will turn it off. You can see that the case of the battery uh, is made of stainless steel. It's a metal casing, stainless steel. Um, it is watertight here. The bottom is watertight. Everything is watertight here. Uh, this, uh, the top, the cup is made of plastic, but everything is sealed. I'll, I'll try to open up the, the cup to show you the seals which we have here. Here you can see, oops, you can see the O-rings. We have double O-rings, one and two. Uh, so that seals it uh, reliably. These are thick O-rings, specially chosen to seal it reliably. Uh, the connector is sealed inside. All the, uh, connect, all the, um, the switch, the light, everything is sealed. So uh, it's not a cheap battery, you know, it's not made of plastic, of cheap cells. The cells are genuine LG cells. Uh, electronics is, is a high quality uh, battery management system inside. So uh, <clears throat> it's not uh, cheap stuff. That's, that's basically, that's all what I wanted to, to show you today. Um, as I said, I, I showed some quick video of bike on during the ride uh, so that you can see the uh, noise level. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to, to let me know. Thank you very much.